I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on annuities. We have an excellent example based on present value. The question here is, Anil borrows $95,000 at 6% per year compounded monthly. He decides to make monthly payment of $1,200. How long will it take him to pay off the loan? How long will it take him to pay off the loan? That's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, the formula which you have to use here is regarding the present value, connecting the recurring payments, monthly installments of 1200 right? So this formula is very important to remember. R is those recurring payments, R minus 1 plus I to the power of minus N over I. Now, in this formula, the value of present value is given, the money borrowed is present value, correct? So the present value here is 95,000. R is what you pay monthly, the fixed amount. R is 1,200. Now interest, we need to find per installment, right? That is uh, compounded monthly. There are 12 months in a year. So 6% means 0 0.06, that is 6% divided by 12 right so that becomes our interest rate so let's calculate this value interest is 0 0.06 divided by 12 which is 1 over 200 so decimal value is uh, 5000 so we could write this as equal to 0 0.005 right so that is the interest rate now in this formula n is the installment period which is now months right so n is number of months so let's substitute all these values in the formula so we have 95,000 equals to 1200 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.005 to the power of minus n now n is a number which we need to find number of months and this interest here is 0 0.005, correct? So we have this equation to solve. So first step, we could actually cross multiply. So we get here 95,000 over 1200 times 0 0.005, which is equal to 1 minus 1.005 to the power of minus n, correct? Now let's see how to solve this equation further. We can take this to the left side. So we get 1.005 to the power of minus n equals to 1 minus all this, which is 95,000 over 1200 times 0 0.005, correct? So let's do this much first and then we'll see how to use logarithms to find n. So what I'll do here is I'll calculate this value which is uh, 95,000 divided by 1200 times 0 0.005 and uh, we'll take away this from 1. So we have 1 minus our answer which is equal to. So we get here 29 over 48. Clear? So you really have to be good at using calculator for such questions. So we have 29 over 48 equals to 1.005 to the power of minus n. Now, how do we solve this? Now the technique is to use logarithms, right? So you need to take logarithms. So we'll take log to the base 10 on both sides. Correct. So when I do that, I get log of 1.005 to the power of minus n equals to log of 29 over 48. Clear? Now using the properties of logarithms, we could always write this as minus n times log of 1.005 equals to log of 29 over 48. Or we can say minus n equals to 
log of 29 over 48 divided by log of 1.005 is that clear to you right so that is how we'll find n so we have 29 over 48 we will say log of our answer equals to divided by log of 1.005 right so we get a value which is equal to so we get minus n equals to minus 101.03 so n is 101.03 now see n is in months so we get so many months correct since we are compounding monthly we could actually divide it by 12 right so so in years we'll have 101.03 divided by 12 so if I divide this by 12, I get uh, 8.41. So we get 8 years, right? And 0.41, so 0.41 uh, times uh, 12. So in one year, there are 12 months. So which gives us approximately 5 months. So that becomes our answer, right? So, so I hope this calculation is very clear. So we get eight years, five months to pay off the whole loan, right? So that is how we could do it. Now we could actually add one more part to this. Let's say if A is how long will it take him to pay off the loan, B could be find the interest paid. Correct? So, so that could be part B, right? So I like you to focus on this also. How do we find the amount as an interest which was paid? Actual borrowing was only 95,000, you see. But the person paid 1,200. So you paid how much? 401 months, right? So even if you take 101 months, so it is, uh, let's do it here. So what we will do here is we'll multiply 1,200 by 101 correct so 1200 times 101 in months we this is equals to 121 200 correct now actual payment was only 95000 correct so if you take away 95000 from here we get the interest you get the idea so that is the interest. So from here, if I take away 95,000, we get an amount which is interest and which is 26,200. So over this period of time, total interest paid is in dollars 26,200. Do you understand? So that is how much of interest you pay when you take a loan, especially when it is taken at 6% per year, compounded monthly, correct? So I hope you have understood the concept. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. We'll take up the next example, which is based on mortgage, similar concept. And I hope both these combined will help you understand the topic of annuities, especially when we are considering present value. Thanks for your time and all the best.